Hey everyone, Larry Wynn here, CEO of Summit Imaging, an ultrasound and mammography equipment support organization. And today we have a similar topic of what we've done in the past. And we are talking about counterfeit parts used in ultrasound equipment to quote unquote repair them. And the term repair here is used so loosely that um, you know we're going to explain what's going on and how you can protect yourselves from uh, you know counterfeit parts and unfortunately one of the most knocked off parts that are in medical devices these days are video cards and you know they are um, a point of failure because they just generate a lot of heat but there are ways to repair them and many organizations are resorting to going to offshore manufacturers of PCBs and creating these counterfeit cards. So uh, if you look in the comments below, there is gonna be a link on a previous uh, video kind of talking about the performance of the cards and how they're inferior to the original cards here. So um, if we look at one of these cards here and it is the same um, as the cards in the pictures, uh, these are PNY video cards, uh, or they appear to be PNY video cards. What makes these counterfeit is that they are not PNY video cards. And here's some telltale signs to help you, the healthcare facilities, identify if these are in fact counterfeit cards. So if you do receive them, uh, please be sure to reject them right away because they're going to fail sooner, they're not going to perform the same way, and they're going to cause you some intermittent problems. So this is the back of the video cards, and what's really surprising, or not surprising, is that the serial numbers are identical on both these cards. A couple of issues. Um, number one, serial numbers are supposed to be unique. And number two, these cards are counterfeit PNY video cards with fake serial numbers. And it's also really hard for the medical device industry and healthcare facilities like you because there is no longer any traceability. If you're trying to recall a certain set of serial numbers, these video cards do not show up in any OEM electronics or healthcare OEM of medical devices at all. So there's a problem. It's impossible to do a recall. There's another problem. You have no idea this is happening in your ultrasound equipment. So here we actually have identical serial numbers on these and when they should be different. Um, note there are some patent numbers on here as well. Um, you know there is room to argue that the patents are being violated and simply being copied and pasted with a sticker putting on here. Uh, very bad. What is something you can do to identify these? We are seeing as I zoom in, these stickers, and I apologize it being a bit blurry, but these are green and white stickers with what appears to be Chinese characters on them. And what we're thinking is that that is the Chinese manufacturer that's been commissioned to make these counterfeit cards. That's something to look for and something that is an immediate red flag. So we looked at the serial numbers, our system doesn't allow multi, you know, duplicate serial numbers in our systems to catch these kinds of things. On top of it, our technicians know to look for these uh, stickers. And then on top of it, uh, if we flip over the cards, we notice that these, the P and Y Verto sticker here stands a bit proud and we actually lifted one of these corners and one of our customers sent these in for a repair, and when you actually oh, peel this back, there's actually a different sticker underneath. Very weird. This actually has more Chinese characters, and it says HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.pcasl.com. This is a Chinese electronics PCB manufacturer. So we're not pointing fingers at they're the ones doing it, but a lot of things are pointing to 
there's some sort of relationship there, at the very least making the sticker and the heat sink, but the rest of the card is definitely a counterfeit card. So I invite you to do your homework and do your research to identify if the parts in your equipment is counterfeit or not. So we know uh, there's a lot of counterfeit products in the consumer world. It's so unfortunate and so unethical that these are now being used to a degree that it's being hidden from you and that the quantity of these is increasing. This is the reason why our customers asked us to do a second video on this particular topic because this is different than the first video because of all these new variables involved. And it's an actually completely different card. And so if we're catching these things on the returns of the, the equipment uh, and we're being asked to repair it, it is a safe assumption that there are a lot more of these in the field and you don't know about it because it's probably sitting in your machine. So look for those few things. Um, you know, look for these labels, look for the Chinese characters on there, uh, look for replicated serial numbers, all these kinds of things. And if you have any questions, you know, just please reach out to us. We can definitely help you. And these just don't belong anywhere um, in our medical devices to maintain patient care and, you know, lower that total cost of ownership by keeping the systems up. So this is completely counterintuitive and is going to cost healthcare facilities more unknowingly because just mean more downtime, more frequency of failure, and then all those impact patient care. So we hope you learned uh, a lot today. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you know, uh, follow us on LinkedIn, like us on Facebook, and talk to you next time. Bye.